Hey guys, welcome back. This week we're gonna talk about data management and specifically using templates with data management. We've looked at a couple of different processes of using data management workspace, at the export, the import. Today we're gonna to take a look at using templates in data management workspace. So what these are helpful for if you're moving data in between environments. So let's say you have a test environment, you wanna populate a new test environment with, with more data from the old uh, test environment. You know, for example, uh, configuration type data. Um, so you don't have to hand key that stuff every time. What you can do to make a process out of that or a repeatable process out of that is to use templates to generate which entities you wanna export every time. And then you can create a package and then import that package through data management and get it into the new system, okay? So let's take a look at how to do that. Let's start off by going to the data management workspace. So we're gonna go into um, workspaces and then data management. And then th today we're gonna look at the templates tile, okay? So if I wanna create a new template, all I've gotta do up here is click new. And it's gonna ask me for a name. I'm just gonna and say it's Scott's template. Same thing for the description. And template status is gonna be draft right now. All right, so there's a couple of ways we can, we can add um, entities to our template. We can do a single entity add, and this is very much like when we're doing the export or the import. It's just gonna, if we click on that, it's gonna ask us what entity we wanna do. Okay, so if we wanted to name, add warehouse locations, we could just click on warehouse locations and add it right, right from there, okay? So that's very much like what we've been using. Same thing for add multiple, same sort of screen that we've seen before. So if I go in and filter down to warehouse, so I can look for things with, with warehouse and, and select multiple. So if I wanted to add zones and zone groups, for example, uh, I could do that. And we'll go ahead and hit add, and those will both be added in my template there, all right? Additionally, I can do uh, create from data project. So we did our, last time we did our location import and export. So if I come back here, so here's location import or export. They both have the same entities on them. So it's not gonna matter which one I check. So we'll go ahead and click location import and it's gonna, gonna add the locations from there. Okay. Um, so let's go back and add multiple again. Let's, let's add warehouse. So there we go. We'll do zones and zone locations there. Zones and zone groups. We'll add those entities to it. Okay. So at this point, you know, I can edit, add, remove, whatever, whatever I need to do, I can I can go ahead and do that. All right. So before you can use the template, what you need to do is you need to validate it. So we'll go ahead and hit validate template. It'll be validated. Now at this point we can use it. So for example, if we close this out and we went back to our export job. Um, let's just call it uh, Scott's export now. And then we can say add template. And we can say Scott's template. And then say okay. And then it's gonna add those three entities to the, uh, to the export, okay? So let's take a look at a couple of other little things we can do. Um, so we'll close this out. And so let's just say we want to export this template so we can import it into another environment, right? So let's go back and I'll filter down to Scott's template. All right, and so we have an export option up here so we can export it out. It's gonna create a zip file for our template. Let me show that in folder. And what I'm gonna do is I'll copy that over to my desktop and we'll be able to import that in a minute, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna, I'm gonna delete this template and we're just gonna emulate like we're moving it to another environment. So, you know, maybe that was a test environment. You wanna move it to just another test environment or UAT environment. So right now I don't have my template in there, right? So easy enough, we're just gonna click on import template and then we're gonna browse for that, that file. So it's, this is your new Scott's template. Open that up. We'll say create template. And then there we go, we have it right back into the system there. Okay, so very easy to import or export these templates once you have them created. So the data management template allow you to create a repeatable process 
So again, if the example that I always use is if you're trying to just move configurations from one environment to another, you can use the data management template to make sure that you always have the same exact entities every time, the entities that you need, right? So these templates, you can create your own, you can import and export those templates. So if you've got a new environment set up and you wanna export uh, the exact same data from that new environment, you can export the template from the one environment and move it to the new environment, okay? So I hope you find this information valuable and help you on your implementations. If you did, please give it a like, thumbs up. Um, also, I put out a video about every week, sometimes more than once a week. So if, if you like this type of content, go ahead and subscribe. That way you'll get notified when I upload a new video. Okay, so until next time, thanks for watching.